What's up you guys, Jaden here, Moonlight Craftsman Channel. I just got a new Victor Metalist 350 uh, oxygen acetylene torch kit and some bottles. So I thought that this would be a good time to uh, go over the basics of an oxygen acetylene system. Uh, we'll uh, go ahead and go over the regulators and all that and fire it up and get you a neutral flame and and the uh, startup and shutdown procedures. Coming up. So like I was saying guys, I bought a uh, Metalist 350, which is a heavy duty cutting torch setup. And uh, just to go over what it comes with, a torch body. And this is model WH411C. And the book is saying that the C at the end means that it has check valves installed. If your torch body says FC at the end of the model number, for Victor anyways, then that means it also has a flame arrestor in the torch body as well. So this one only has the check valves and not the flame arrestors. So I did go ahead and buy the flame arrestors and put those on the regulators which I'll show you here in a little bit. So, and what this comes with is, comes with the cutting attachment, comes with the welding attachment, and then it also comes with the uh, cutting tip. <clears throat> so, to look at the cutting attachment, this unscrews, and you take your tip, Put it through that nut and install it right there. Now all these threads, you know, it's not like a pipe. The threads don't do the sealing. The threads just pull the metal connections together and it's the metal seating against the metal that, that, uh, that does the sealing. So this one do it with a wrench. So this is a number one tip and the book that comes with it is saying that the number one will cut uh, up to three quarter inch material and you set your oxygen at 30 to 35 psi and you're settling at three to five psi. So you just set that right in there and it's got o-rings on there on this one and this connection is actually only hand this one only needs to be hand tight so that's it now you got the cutting attachment on your torch body so take that off same thing with the welding attachment which this one is a number two it's stamped right there got plenty of different welding attachments uh, that you can buy but the number two it'll weld uh, 16th to 8th inch material and for this particular uh, tip you know go back to your book and this one will do uh, you want to set your oxygen to 3 to 5 psi and you're settling to 3 to 5 psi so, PSI, so not very high on either one of those for your welding <clears throat> attaches the same way hand tight boom I've already attached the oxygen and settling hoses to the torch body uh, oxygen over here uh, right hand threads, left hand threads on the acetylene, as you can see indicated with the marks on the nut. And I also did go ahead and uh, buy a heating uh, torch to go with this because I'll be using this to bend some, uh, twist some square stock and things like that. So this one's kind of a big boy here, and this will use a lot of oxygen and acetylene, so 
I might have to get me an economizer at some point to try and save a little bit of gas. But that's all there is to it. That's uh, hand tight as well. And a heating attachment like this, this is a number eight MFA. And it's gonna be, you're gonna set your oxygen at 20 to 30 and you're settling at 10 to 15. But you're gonna want to, you know, I'm just some guy on YouTube, so you're gonna want to do the research for your particular torch body, uh, read the specifications, get online, do your own research, don't blow yourself up. So let's move on to uh, the bottles and the regulators. All right, so I've already got the regulators installed on the bottles. I got the bottles at Tractor Supply. These are number four bottles. You got a 150 cubic foot acetylene bottle and a 125 cubic foot oxygen bottle. These are the flashback arresters that I was talking about. Uh, easy install right there. Right hand threads on the oxygen, left hand threads on the acetylene. Uh, one thing about this, the Metalist 350, I got this on Amazon and there are some complaints on Amazon that you know, it shows the picture of this connection right here, but that's actually not what it comes with. It actually comes with a CGA 300 connection right here, which is actually a right hand thread. So <clears throat> I'm not sure what you'd use that for. Probably a manifold system, I guess. Um, let me know down in the comments if, if, um, if I'm wrong on that. But so I already knew that going into it because I read the uh, reviews and so I had to get this adapter here for to get a CGA uh, 300 to go to a CGA 510 connection which will go to the acetylene bottle. So you actually got right hand threads here and then left hand threads here on this particular application. On the oxygen it's just a um, <coughs> CGA 540 which goes directly onto the bottle. All right, so now I'm just gonna go through the startup procedure and shutdown procedure uh, specifically for the cutting head. So first I'm going to turn the bottles on. I'm gonna turn the acetylene uh, half to one turn. I'm going to turn the oxygen bottle all the way on. And now my regulators, they're all the way out they're loose right here turn counter clockwise which um, that's kind of the opposite of you know a water valve or whatnot uh, these actually clockwise will increase the pressure on the outlet we got the inlet and the outlet so uh, like i was saying earlier with this cutting tip right here we're going to want to set the oxygen to 30 to 35 PSI. So we'll go ahead and do that right now by turning clockwise and 25, 30. And then the acetylene, um, it's saying three to five. So I'll put it on five PSI there. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, so. When you have the cutting attachment set up, you're going to want to turn this oxygen valve down here all the way on. And it stays all the way open um, while you're using this. Okay, then you're going to go ahead and turn the acetylene on a little bit. I have it on a little bit. Okay, I'm going to turn it up a little bit more. And then up here, turn the oxygen up on just a little bit, okay? And I got a tight cone right there. I'm gonna give it a little bit more fuel. I got a pretty tight cone there, but then you check by pressing the handle. Tighten it up a little bit by opening a little bit more. And there you have it. That's set for cutting. So you're going to heat the metal up and then push the lever to blow the metal out. Off procedure, 
oxygen off, fuel off. Then you go straight to your bottles, turn your bottles off. Then you're going to want to come back to your torch and you're going to open up these valves and release any pressure on the gauges. Once the pressure is off on the gauges, you can shut these. I left them open the last time, so now they're shut. And then you take the regulator, back the regulators back off. That'll protect the diaphragms when you turn it back on. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you got any value out of this video, be sure to smash that like button and be sure to subscribe also so you don't miss any more videos just like this one. See you on the next one.